In today's video, we're going to discuss a stock that has a very strong catalyst and whether or not that catalyst will make it too difficult to trade. So this morning, some big news in Beyond Meat, BYND. They signed a deal with McDonald's to start testing a new burger designed specifically for McDonald's. This is what we refer to in trading as a huge catalyst. McDonald's is the number one global fast food brand. And if BYND can be their choice of plant-based burgers, that is potentially worth billions of dollars in sales. The stock reacted accordingly. By 7.30 this morning, when I got to our trading floor, it was already trading at 160 per share up roughly $20 from the prior day's close. I started to watch it trade more closely. When a stock has such a large gap following a news catalyst, often when the market opens, it can gyrate wildly until buyers and sellers find equilibrium. But if you can identify some orderly behavior in the pre-market, that can be useful for controlling your risk when the market opens. BYND put in its pre-market high at roughly 167 prior to 8 a.m. This is important because at 8 a.m., more institutions begin to trade, and we can judge whether these institutions are buyers or sellers more easily after that time. So by the time we began our pre-market meeting at 8.50, sellers were in control of the stock, and it was below 160. Here are our written notes that I share prior to the start of our AM meeting. If you'd like to find out more about our stock selection process, please click on the link above for our free two-hour workshop or simply go to tradingworkshop.com. So in our notes, I'll bring you your attention to several key things. Number one is that we have established an inflection price. This is a level we're going to use right on the market open to decide the direction of a trade. We based the 160 level on a higher time frame support and resistance prior to today's trading. And also the fact that it was far enough away from the pre-market high of 167 and our lower support that it offered a good risk reward. The second point I want to bring to your attention is S2 was 152. This is approximately one ATR below our inflection price. Our expectation was that BYND could move very quickly on the open, perhaps as much as one to one and a half ATRs, and this was a large factor in my admonishing less experienced traders about trading it. Stocks that can move many dollars in minutes can put on psychological stress on traders, and less experienced ones are apt to make not great decisions under duress. Putting together a pre-market game plan can be helpful as you can focus on execution, but at the same time, you need to spend time thinking about and visualizing how quickly a stock may move and be prepared to exit if the stock moves very quickly against you. So let me know, did you trade BYND today? Do you trade stocks that get, have large gaps with strong catalysts? In the comments section, I'd love to hear from you how you traded BYND, how do you deal with stocks that have large gaps. We can all learn from sharing with each other.